or YouTube. Um, today I'm going to show you how to group 3D letters um, and how to make a word. Um, so you can put them on on the images and backgrounds and whatever you want. So the first thing I'm just going to do, as you can see, I've already got my um, letters that I'm going to need open. Um, I'm just going to spell the word peace. It's a simple word that comes to my head, nothing special. Um, just go ahead and make a new document. I'm going to make a 1270 by 720, both pixels. Um, uh, I think I'll make it a white background. Alright, so first of all, what we're going to do, let me just find my pair here. We're going to, the rectangular marquee tool, yeah, basically the selection tool. It's the second one from the top, and it's the top one on the second one, if that makes sense. Let's go ahead and copy, and then paste it here. I'll just move it over, and make it smaller, so I don't have a big, big document. And then you just go ahead and select the area you want to copy, and then just paste it, and keep, oh, change it back there, keep resizing on. Thing I like to do here is put the P over the E, for example, because I think otherwise it kind of doesn't look right. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the others real quick. Again, just overlapping the layers. Let's see. Yeah. And he wants more. Do select and pull it under. Right, so now that we've got our word, um, what you want to do is press a layer so it becomes blue. At this point you want to hold control down on your keyboard and right, I think it's right click, is it? Wow, this is great, I've kind of, oh dear. There we go. Hold control and left click the layers you want um, and then you want to press ctrl and g and it will automatically create a group for you and as you can see I can now move the word piece around as a group um, also if you want to head over to hue and saturation press cano type I believe and you can edit the colours make it a wide range and uh, see what these other things do you can mess with the sense here I guess the only thing you have to watch out for here I believe is when you um, edit the cano type uh, on this and then pull it on another document so I've sometimes found that the that they conflict um, and that both become the same colour if you kind of get what I mean but yeah um, you can just go ahead and save that now uh, and do what you want with it that's it for today's tutorial uh, peace